In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to web scrape stock data into Google Sheets. So let's go ahead and look at a quick example. We can see here we have a stock ticker, Microsoft. We have the dividend and the industry listed right here. And if I were to change the stock ticker right here to Apple and hit enter, you can see the dividend data and the industry data will automatically update. So let me go ahead and show you exactly how to do this. Now the two places we're gonna be looking today are going to be at Finviz and a website called Yahoo Finance. You may or may not be familiar with these websites. Now the main place we're gonna be web scraping from is a website called Finviz. So let's go ahead and say we wanna web scrape data from Microsoft just the way we did earlier. If we type in Microsoft here and scroll down, you can see we have a whole chart of data that we can try to web scrape into our spreadsheet. Now there is a few problems with this. And one of those problems is we're very limited in the data that we can pull into our spreadsheet. We can't bring in international stocks. There's some US stocks we can't pull in. We're limited in the metrics we can look at and we can't look at financial statements either. So yes, we're a little bit limited, but I'll show you a workaround for those things here in just a little bit. Now, if we jump back over to our spreadsheet, let's go ahead and delete this data and start looking at how we can web scrape this in. Now, the first thing that we wanna pull in is going to be the dividend data. And like you just saw, we're gonna be able to web scrape this in from Finviz. If we come over here, you can see we have the estimated dividend and we have the dividend for the trailing 12 months listed right here. Now this is a table in Finviz and I'm gonna show you the formula to web scrape this in. Now this is a very complicated formula but I'm gonna to try to talk you through how it works. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in right here. Now if we come here, we're gonna go ahead and adjust this formula to pull in cell B8. That's where our stock ticker is listed. So let's go ahead and start breaking down this formula. Now the first thing we use is the import HTML formula. It's going to Finviz and going to the same page and it's pulling in whatever stock ticker is listed right here and in this scenario it's Microsoft. It's pulling in the 10th table from that page and it's pulling in the seventh element and second row from that page as well. It's then using an index to pull in the correct metric and a substitute formula to remove the stars from that metric as well. So when I hit enter, you can see this loads in. Now I know what you're thinking, that was extremely complicated and you are completely right. And even then there's still some problems with this formula as well. Like for example, let's say we wanted to know what the quarterly dividend is. Maybe we wanted to just divide this by four, but we can't do that because it's web scraped in. And like I mentioned earlier, we can't pull in any financial statements or key metrics. And we also can't look at international stocks as well. So what's the solution to this? And this is where ticker data comes in. Ticker data is a function within Google Sheets that I have created in order to automate this process and make it extremely simple. What's really cool about this is ticker data allows you to pull in stocks from all across the world, whether in your Australia, Asia, somewhere in Europe, South America, or North America, from all across the world, you can pull in these stock metrics. So for example, if we wanted to look at the Apple dividend, let's say we wanna look at Apple's last dividend payment, we could use the ticker data live function open the parentheses and all we have to do is click on Apple and then we're just going to type in last div because we want to know what the last dividend payment was. I'll hit enter and you can see this data will automatically load in. This was Apple's last dividend payment at 96 cents. This is obviously a much more simple formula than trying to web scrape this formula in. And here's another major problem with web scraping. Finviz periodically changes the layout of their website. So even if you use this formula to pull in information, every month or two, this formula will automatically stop working and you'll have to start from scratch trying to figure out how to pull in this data, which can be a major nightmare when you build out complicated spreadsheets that rely on this outside data. What's also really cool about ticker data is we have access to all different types of metrics that we can pull straight into our spreadsheet. So maybe there's some other dividend metrics we actually wanna look at. But let's go ahead and keep moving forward and talking about how we can web scrape industry into Google Sheets. Now, as complicated as pulling in the dividend was, this one is actually even more complicated. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste this formula in and show you how it works. And again, the first thing we need to do is adjust this formula to pick up whichever stock we have listed here, cell B8, and we'll do the same right here. And when I hit enter, we can see this will automatically load in. But just look at this formula. Again, we're using the import XML formula. This one's a little bit different. We pull from Finviz. We have to use some other substitute formulas and pull in some HTML data as well. So this is a extremely complicated web scraping formula. But again, this is the beauty behind ticker data and why I created ticker data. If we wanna pull in industry, we can use that ticker data live function, click on Apple and in quotations, 
click on Apple. And again, this time if we want, we can just come up here and click on industry, close off this parentheses and hit enter and this data will automatically load in. Now you decide we want to see something other than industry. And here's another cool feature about ticker data. If instead of industry, we want to see the sector the company is in, we can just type in sector here and hit enter and you can see this data will automatically load in. Meanwhile, this data did not automatically update. Maybe we wanna see something like the current price for the company. I could just type in price and the price will automatically load in as well. So again, ticker data allows us to really automate this process. If we go to places like Yahoo Finance, I've been able to web scrape just a little bit from this website before, but it's even more complicated than web scraping from Finviz. And even then you're very limited in your ability to pull in data and you can't pull in any financial statement metrics as well. But with ticker data, pulling in financial statement metrics is very easy. For example, again, if I wanted to pull in Apple financial metrics, I'll come over here and do equals ticker data. We'll come over here and click on Apple. And maybe this time I wanna see something like gross profit, which would be found on the income statement. I can just type out gross profit here and then I can select the year that I want to see their gross profit for. Maybe I wanna see what their gross profit was all the way back in 2005. I could just type out 2005, close the parentheses and hit enter, and you can see this data will again automatically load in, making it extremely easy to pull in stock and financial metrics into Google Sheets. And again, we can pull in these metrics from places all over the world. We're not limited to just American stocks. We're not limited to just American stocks. We have places from South America, places from Europe, places from North America, places from Asia. This process is extremely simple with ticker data. So yes, web scraping can be a pretty cool feature and you can see the formulas on how to use them here, but they end up not working at the end. But you're very limited in the data that you can pull in and these formulas oftentimes quit working, which can cause nightmares for your spreadsheets. The solution to this is ticker data. If you're interested in automating your spreadsheets with ticker data and getting access to a library of pre-built stock valuation spreadsheets and portfolio tracking templates, then you can head over to ticker data.com at the link in the description. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.